Hello, my name is Jason, and today I'll be showing you how to troubleshoot the functionality of your magnetic speed sensor included in the PowerHalt Air Intake Emergency Shutoff Valve Kit. You can usually tell if something is wrong with your speed sensor if you're experiencing problems like the inability to set or test your trip speed, the light on the membrane switch or controller is not flashing while the engine is running. Packbrake offers two different types of magnetic pickup speed sensors, which could be behind these issues. There is the three-wire Hall Effect type sensor, and the two-wire variable reluctance or VR type sensor. Also note that the VR sensor is only compatible with the C20552 controller on the PH3 shutoff valves. Identify which sensor you have before proceeding. Before we test the sensor function, it is important that we check loose harness connections and confirm the sensor has been correctly installed. First, we must ensure the flywheel is centered within the sensor port. In some cases, the port is offset or a machined edge is present on the flywheel. These instances could cause issues in picking up speed. Packbrake offers an offset mag adapter which is used to center a smaller diameter sensor over the flywheel teeth. Having confirmed that the sensor is correctly centered to the flywheel teeth, we can move on to confirm that it is installed correctly. The sensor must bottom out completely on the flywheel before it is backed off a half turn before tightening the jam nut. Oftentimes, a burr or dirt buildup in the threads will stop the sensor from threading all the way in. Use calipers to measure and confirm the depth if necessary. The threads can be cleaned out with an appropriately sized bottoming tap if you are finding there is an obstruction. Please note there are two different models of the Hall Effect sensors. They will have the same test procedure with different output readings. Check part number on the label to determine which model you have. To test the functionality of either Hall Effect speed sensor, you will need a multimeter, a piece of steel or iron, and a 12 volts DC source of power such as a battery or power supply in our case. Connect 12 volts DC to pin A and ground pin B. The multimeter red lead should be connected to pin C and the black lead to ground. While powered on, the multimeter should read 5 volts DC. Moving the sensor close to the steel plate will cause the multimeter reading to drop to 0 volts DC. When testing the C50192 sensor, the output will differ, reading 12 volts DC. Moving the sensor close to the steel plate will cause the multimeter reading to drop to 0 volts DC. To test the functionality of the two-wire VR speed sensor, you will need a multimeter capable of reading frequencies in hertz, and you will need the speed sensor to be directly installed on the engine. Please note, voltage of the signal is irrelevant for this test. Connect the multimeter leads to the pins of the sensor. Polarity does not matter. You should see that the value changes in proportion to the engine speed. It will increase as the engine speed does or decrease as it does. Be aware that this test is limited by the capabilities of your multimeter. Most multimeters will only read a frequency up to a certain value. Our multimeter, for example, will only read up to 3000 Hz. However, this is sufficient to check the functionality of the sensor. A similar approach can be taken when trying to determine if your alternator is outputting a signal suitable for use with the available C20592R terminal harness. To test, simply attach the leads of the multimeter to the appropriate alternator terminal and ground to see if the value is in proportion to the engine speed. Thank you for watching. If you are still unable to detect speed on your system or if the sensor is found to be faulty, please contact Packbrake Support.